This is what we're making today. Golden fried chicken with fragrant mashed potatoes. This is a bowl of chicken leg and thighs. We're gonna season it generously with salt and pepper. So guys, since this recipe was based on the collaboration between KFC and Genshin Impact, I've been researching a lot on how to make KFC fried chicken. Now, I don't actually know if this is how KFC makes her fried chicken, I'm just basing it off what Wikipedia told me. So, after seasoning the chicken very well, we're gonna marinate this in buttermilk. By marinating it in buttermilk overnight, it'll tenderize the chicken and give it those sour notes buttermilk has. You should marinate your chicken for at least 6 hours. This is a large Yukon gold potato. We're gonna use this because of its lower starch content. It's perfect for mashed potatoes. We're gonna cut these guys in half, and then into quarters, and then into little pieces. Then, we're gonna boil them for about 10 minutes. So before I actually made this recipe, I went to KFC and ordered some fried chicken and mashed potatoes. The way I would describe KFC's mashed potato is airy but buttery. So we're gonna use a lot of butter to make these mashed potatoes. Before boiling it and after peeling it, these Yukon Gold potatoes weighed about 750 grams. So just remember that, cause we're about to put 40% butter into this recipe. After boiling the potatoes, we're gonna pass it through a sieve. This will give our mashed potatoes a nice smooth consistency. Make sure your potatoes are still hot when passing it through the sieve, cause when it cools down, it's gonna be really hard to get it through. Once the potatoes have been passed through a sieve, we're gonna throw in 25 grams of cream and 300 grams of butter. Yes, 300 grams of butter. These mashed potatoes is a one-way ticket to cardiac arrest. But it's so good. Personally, I wouldn't even have added cream in here, but the Getchen Impact recipe said cream, so we're doing cream. Next, we're gonna make the breading. The KFC fried chicken consists of 11 herbs and spices. So in two cups of flour and half a cup of cornstarch, our salt and pepper mix, garlic ginger powder, paprika, cayenne pepper, mustard powder, and a herb blend. This herb blend consists of dried basil, dried thyme, dried sage, and dried oregano. For the exact measurements and ingredients for this recipe, you can find it at the end of the video. This is our chicken after marinating it for 20 hours. So according to my research, the KFC chicken is only dredged once, so we're simply going to drain this slightly and then dredge it in our flour mix. Make sure you coat the chicken really well and press the flour right into the chicken. We're going to dust it off very well and then leave it on a tray before frying. We're going to bread all our chicken first before we deep fry it. Once we bread all our chicken, we're going to throw in our thighs first and deep fry it at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 14 minutes. While our chicken is deep frying, we're going to make the gravy. Since KFC is from the south, we're going to make a southern style roux. In a pan, we're going to throw in a quarter cup of oil and a quarter cup of our flour mix. Then, on medium high heat, we're going to make a dark brown roux. Not black, not burnt, dark brown. Once we've achieved a dark brown roux, we're going to throw in 500 milliliters of chicken stock little by little. To make this roux took me about 10 minutes on medium heat. Guys, it's very important that you use oil and not butter. If you use butter to make a dark roux like this, it will burn. Once we've added all the chicken stock in, we're going to reduce it to the right consistency and then season it to taste. You should only be seasoning with salt because the flour mixture that we used here already contains so many herbs and spices. After 14 minutes, this is what our chicken should look like. We're gonna put it aside and let it rest for about 5 minutes. Now let's plate.
First, let's taste the mashed potatoes. Creamy, buttery, potatoey, and hard attacky. Delicious. Now listen to this, guys. Crispy, crunchy, moist, and packed with flavor. Now let's try it with the gravy. Unfortunately, this gravy cooled down and wasn't as hot as it could be, but it was still good. In terms of texture, I mean, this chicken was great. It was crispy on the outside and moist and juicy on the inside. In terms of flavor, it was very peppery, but in a good way. The KFC I had yesterday was honestly lackluster. The chicken was soggy and it definitely was not as flavorful. But you know what guys, this is what I'm gonna say. The KFC down in the States is definitely a lot better than the KFC up here in Canada. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Here's one more bite of the crispy fried chicken. Guys, if you like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what I should cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.